Yeah, guys, the Game Changers documentary is just destroying America. We are in shambles. How are we going to recover from some athletes becoming plant-based? America is absolutely f Hey, what is up, guys? So today we're going to be covering a post, a brilliant post, that Elliot Hulse made toward the Game Changers documentary and vegans in general. Now, oddly enough, I used to follow Elliot Holtz back in high school and I think early middle school for general fitness advice. And I think that at that time, he actually gave some pretty valuable information. But over the course of the last couple years, he's gone down a very weird path where he said some very outrageous things. So I don't normally poison the well before discussing another person. But I think in this case, it's just kind of funny and worth doing. So when Elliot Hulse was doing an interview on London Real, which is a pretty massive YouTube channel, he was asked by the interviewer if he thinks that women should be allowed to vote. And he actually hesitated to answer the question and then responded with, it depends who you ask. So kind of like by omission, he implied that he doesn't think that women should be allowed to vote. I would play the clip of him doing this, but I can't really find it. It was initially on Vegan Gains' channel, but you know, Vegan Gains has all of his videos privated right now because he's dealing with some copyright strikes. So whenever his videos come back up, just go check it out and look for um, Vegan Gains, Elliot Hull's women or something, and you'll find him literally say, it depends who you ask, when being asked the question, should women vote? So this is the kind of guy that we are dealing with at the moment. So my poisoning the well aside, let's look at this brilliant post by Elliot Hulse. So the beginning says, there's a documentary destroying America. You might've heard of it. It's called Game Changers. Okay, first of all, I mean, this is very dramatic. I mean, I have no reason to believe that the documentary Game Changers is destroying America. I'm not even sure what documentary period could possibly be affecting so many people that it's literally destroying America. I mean, just imagine Joe Biden or any past president saying like the game changers is destroying America. Just super dramatic. He might just be trying to appeal to his super right wing and patriotic audience, but I don't really know. It's honestly just a really funny thing to even think about. Like the game changers is destroying America. Like of all the things that could be destroying America, it's a documentary that is trying to just show people that it's very much possible to be an athlete and be strong while eating just plants. America just destroyed. So he says, I say it's destroying America because it's convincing Americans to become vicious vegans. Vicious vegans. I mean, ironically, being vegan is actually a kind of means of being compassionate and not being so vicious. I mean, what is more vicious, eating plants or paying for animals to be exploited and murdered for no good reason outside of taste pleasure, you know? I mean, what is more barbaric and violent and vicious, being vegan? or not being vegan and supporting some of the most unbelievable atrocities on this planet. Veganism turns men into women. Okay, so before I go on, I'm just gonna say that he has no sources in this caption, so there's nothing to really review here. But yeah, I mean, veganism is definitely turning men into women. As you can see, I'm definitely, you know, uh, a woman. Um, I went vegan 6.5 years ago and I'm slowly turning into a woman and I'll even flash my testosterone levels on the screen right now. And as you can see, my test levels are well within the range of a woman. And I don't normally appeal to anecdote when it comes to refuting other people's nutritional claims, but he has no sources backing his claims. So I mean, my anecdote at the very least still weighs more with respect to evidence than his baseless claim that he put in an Instagram caption. It makes people skinny fat. This is a very broad statement and I don't even know how to respond to it. I mean. You can be skinny fat as a result of a vegan diet, but you can also be skinny fat from a non-vegan diet. Me and all the other vegan athletes in the documentary were definitely very skinny fat. They're missing essential nutrients. Not true whatsoever, you can get everything you need on a vegan diet. Meat substitutes cause cancer. So as usual, Elliot gave zero sources to back this claim, but I do find this a little bit ironic because, you know, according to the World Health Organization, meat and processed meat actually qualify as types of carcinogens. Vegan brains don't get the fuel they need to run at full power. Yeah, I think this caption actually serves as a testament to the opposite and that when you don't go vegan, your brain is not running at full power. It's harder to build muscle mass and strength. This is not true whatsoever. All you need to do when consuming a vegan diet as opposed to a non-vegan diet with respect to gaining muscle and strength is consume the same amount of calories that you would have otherwise consumed on a non-vegan diet on a vegan diet and also just match the protein. There's plenty of vegan protein sources out there. Tempeh, seitan, legumes, tofu, 
nuts, seeds. There's even protein powders. I mean, I am much less serious nowadays than before with my whole like fitness endeavors, but still to this day, I'm getting around 140 to 150 grams of protein per day and I'm barely even trying. But the worst part about this documentary is that it's pure trickery. It uses flawed arguments to get its point across. Super ironic given that this caption contains literally zero sources while within the documentary, basically whenever an empirical claim was made, a source was given. So an example he gives of this pure trickery within the documentary is that the documentary showcases jacked and ripped vegans, strong vegans, and athletic vegans, but fails to show the army of high-performing meat-eating men and athletes. Okay, so this is a very big misconception when it comes to the Game Changers documentary. The Game Changers documentary wasn't meant to show that eating a vegan diet is superior for athletic performance. It was just showing that it is possible to be an athlete and strong and, you know, have a lot of muscle while being a vegan or eating a plant-based diet. And with this intention in mind, there is no reason to show what meat-eating athletes can do because meat-eating athletes and what they can do is completely irrelevant to the intention of the documentary. They're not trying to say that vegan athletes are superior to meat-eating athletes. They're just saying that it's possible to be a vegan athlete and have optimal strength, performance, and muscle. The smoke and mirrors in this documentary is killing America. Yeah, guys, the Game Changers documentary is just destroying America. We are in shambles. How are we going to recover from some athletes becoming plant-based? America is absolutely fucked. People are converting to vicious veganism and forcing it upon their children, which results in brittle, weak, mentally underdeveloped children. A lot of evidence, again. So the question is, what can we do about this? Keep eating meat, keep being men, and keep embodying strength. Yeah, guys, keep eating meat, keep clogging your arteries, keep paying for innocent animals and they're vulnerable to be murdered. You know, it's very manly and, you know, very indicative of being a man to prey on the innocent instead of defending the innocent. Very manly, Elliot Hulse. And clogging your arteries and increasing your chances of erectile dysfunction is another manly thing. Probably the most manly thing you can get out of meat. We have to be the symbols of optimal health, of strength, athleticism, and confidence so that people begin to reassociate strength with eating real food and moving the body the way it's supposed to move. Yeah, because, you know, vegan food just isn't real food. It's just a, it's a cartoon or something. And it's already happening. Some vicious vegans have seen the light of eating a balanced diet. Some even rode the pendulum to the complete other side and switched to full-on carnivore. Just recently, a vegan influencer made the switch to carnivore because because of a swarm of health problems. She reported feeling more fresh and vibrant than ever. I'm not sure who he's talking about. Maybe it's Elise Parker, but yeah, I mean, the carnivore diet is a whole nother topic. Something that is very based in science and has so much peer reviewed data supporting it. That was a joke, it does not whatsoever. If you want to become the symbol of optimal health, strength, athleticism, and confidence I spoke of above, I recommend looking into lean higher. Okay, he's just uh, marketing his, uh, services. So yeah, guys, brilliant post by Elliot Hulse. The Game Changers documentary is absolutely destroying America. America is just on fire because, you know, there's a select amount of athletes turning into plant-based athletes as opposed to non-plant-based athletes. Just fuck, man. America is just totally fucked right now. I hope our president, Joe Biden, addresses the Game Changers documentary because this is the number one priority that we need to be focused on right now. So before I go, I just want to say, you know, speaking of the Game Changers documentary, I highly recommend you watch my compilation going over James Wilkes, who was the, you know, creator of the Game Changers documentary, debating Chris Kresser, who set out to debunk the Game Changers documentary. James Wilkes came on and they had a little debate and you can see how much evidence James Wilkes actually had on his side to defend the claims made in the movie compared to the amount of evidence Elliot Hulse had in his caption to defend the claims he was making against the movie. I know all of your critiques because I've noted them and I've got a point for each one. Also, I've started offering my online coaching services again. So if you're interested, just email me. The email will be in the description. I offer services like vegan meal plans that are mainly prioritizing macros and macro counting, as well as workout plans. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I also have a week-to-week -week online coaching service. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid wannabe sense of irony here. Wh who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid